Welcome back to my let's play of Dark Seed 2. Mike met the loveliest giant head in the last video, as well as brainstormed like with Jack. He also met a pervy off. mayor and tricked the sheriff to leave the station. Let's the see what shenanigans locked. Mike gets into now. I can't so I it. guess we cut the power to the light world the too. Has been closed by the health department because of a rat infestation. That doesn't make sense. Hank keeps the diner spotless. <laughs> I'm guessing Hank is about to burn the diner down and run away the with the insurance locked. money. I had to cut some dialogue that just didn't go anywhere. Time to bug Mrs. Ramirez. It's been Excuse a while since me, we Mrs. last Ramirez. spoke to her. What is it this time, young? I hate when there's a dialogue tree, but both options are basically the same. What's the point? I was wondering if you knew Rita Scanlon, the woman who was murdered nearby last week. Only too well, young man. She was the devil's tool, I tell you. I assume that means whore. Why do you say that she was the devil's tool? All of you young people are servants of Satan. It's all that heavy metal music and drugs and sex. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't see Mike being in the heavy metal. Just how well did you know, Rita? Why, we're lovers. Well, enough to know she tried to seduce my late husband. She was a harlot. She deserved what happened to her. Given how she acts, I almost don't blame her husband. Not that I condone that sort of behavior. Look, lady. Rita was my friend. I just want to find out who murdered her, that's all. Is that so? Well... I have nothing more to say to someone who consorted with the Whore of Babylon. Good day. I don't know. That's a pretty cool power-up in Binding of Isaac. I wasn't done talking, bitch. Excuse me, Mrs. Ramirez. What is it this time? So your family's been here a long- Young man. Oh well, let's get out of here. You know what? Actually, let's go back. <laughs> Jimmy walks like a kid pretending he's a giant and crushing things under his feet. At least Jimmy's knocking animation is appropriate. Payment. Quick, get in before someone sees you. And Mike appears out of the blue to investigate. What's that thug doing here? Come on, lady. You still owe me one last payment for the torch job. Fork it over. I assume that's why he's rated so highly in Doc you Larson's need to little black patience book. Is a virtue, young man. The money's been coming in slow from the insurance company. That's all. Here's the rest of what I owe you. Bless you for your help. Mrs. Ramirez is handing Jimmy a wad of bills. Damn, Jimmy. He must really be good at what he does. Jack didn't believe my suspicions about Jimmy. Wait till he gets a I imagine this. Jimmy and Mrs. Ramirez were just standing there, frozen in time, waiting for Mike Dawson to take their picture. I better get out of here before they see me. I shouldn't make my presence known while Jimmy Gardner is inside. Well, there goes something I was planning for a What If episode. I have a splitting headache. Oh boy! Time for hypnosis Sims. session number two. I have a splitting <laughs> That's headache. That's dumb. Guess I clicked the wrong thing? Why, hello, Whoa! Mike. The clock How just jumped forward today? two hours. Also, I'm pretty sure that was the same time after our first session. Dawson must be a time mage. I feel terrible. I've got another one of those headaches. Did you forget about the mantra, Mike? No I esum see. cigarro. Well, I think we can take care of that after we have a little chat. I've learned something about Rita's murder. Everybody is a suspect. What have you learned? And how did you learn it? 
I think Rita's murderer is a shapeshifter from the Dark World. Mike, maybe don't lead with that. Do you have any proof of this? Oh, come on, Dr. Sims. Er, no. I'm working on it, though. Then why bring it up? I see. Tell me, Mike, what else has been troubling you lately? I've been having more dreams. I don't recall seeing another dream sequence, unless more he's talking about the about initial your dream. Dark world? I visited there again. The ancients are hatching a new plot against humanity. Is that so? Just what are they planning to do? Hats, Doc. Lots of hats. They're trying to take over the Earth. Mike, I think this fantasy of yours is getting out of hand. Let's have no more talk about the so-called ancients for Isn't a Isn't that the opposite of what a psychiatrist is supposed to do? That is, listen to their patient and not the dismiss them? Gonna kill me. When did this last one begin? As soon as I walked in here. A little while ago. I was out for a walk at the park. I stopped by the Ramirez mansion. And what did you see? I watched Jimmy do unspeakable things to her. Well, I'd rather not talk about it. Mike, you're not going to get better unless you completely confide in me. You dismiss almost everything he says, though. Let's just get on with the hypnosis, okay? Well, you're the doctor and all. Holy all shit, right. the clock just jumped Look forward two more hours. Now. Relax. Empty your mind and stare at the spot on the sea. <laughs> Mike emptying his mind shouldn't take You're that long. sleepy. You are calm. At peace. Here's part of it. I'll have the rest tomorrow night when I can get to the re-election fund. Ah, everyone is enjoying a Make taste sure of liquefied you entrails or so whatever be harder to get away with the torch in that rich guy was. Boy, that Rita sure had a thing for other people's husbands. I don't like how Jimmy keeps waggling his finger at Melissa Look. there. Up there, it's Mike Dawson. He's been listening in on us. Dawson, still sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Just like your friend Rita. You want to end up dead like her and all her other friends? Anybody hungry? How about some filet of brain? The gray matter is particularly tasty today. Just what makes us <laughs> dark shoes just strong randomly started and leaking. Hey, Mike! Your shoes are bleeding! Oh, you're so gross, Mike. No wonder Rita would rather be with my husband than with you. Action so fast, the game couldn't show Mike? it properly. Are you awake? How do you feel now? I'm cured again. What a strange dream. I know. You talked all through it. It seems like you need a change of pets. What did I say? Quite a bit. You're angry with the mayor, aren't you? Funny given the mayor wasn't in the dream at all. I'm angry at Jimmy. He killed Mr. Ramirez for having an affair with Rita. Or so his wife could get the life insurance money. You're projecting, Mike. I think you're the one who was jealous of Rita. But look at the photos I found in the mayor's car. I see. Let me hang on to these, Mike. Why do you think I'm angry with the mayor? Your dream. It sounded like the mayor's wife was plotting with Jimmy to murder her husband. Was it? I guess I always assumed it was about the Ramirez murder. I might need to correct that in my deep dive. Link I'm in the not description. The jealous type, if that's what you think. The lie detector determined that that is a not lie. Not even when you learned she was flirting with Mr. Ramirez and Mayor Fleming? Those jerks. I mean, no. Doctor, I think you're wrong about my feelings for Rita. Well, maybe. But that's about all the time we have today. <laughs> He just ended the session when Mike called him on his BS. Disgust. And if your headaches return, see me.
I can't go back and see Dr. Sims again so soon. He'll think I'm... All right, let's interrogate Mom. Did you have a thing with Rita? Mom, have you seen my new tennis shoes? Sorry, Mike, I haven't seen them in about a week. Sorry, Mike, I haven't seen them since they started leaking blood. I'm starting to get a headache. Me too, Mike, me too. Well, that's what your medicine is for. You know where to find it. Let's leave. All right, Jack time. Just had to wait for the motorcycle noise to stop. I'm guessing Jack doesn't really have a motorcycle Here and is just Jack. walking around making the noise himself. Guess what? I have a photo of Mrs. Ramirez paying off Jimmy for killing her husband. Yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence that his name keeps turning up. Jimmy or Ramirez? What do you mean? What's the connection between Jimmy and the sheriff? Hey, Mikey boy, I just sat down. Give me a break well, and get me something Jimmy to drink. Well, Jimmy told you he had the inside goods on the sheriff. I guess he was talking about the bribery charges. What's the connection between Jimmy and Doc Larson? The sexual favors. Jimmy's name was listed in Doc Larson's little black book. Knowing Jimmy, he probably helped round up girls for the good doctor. What's the connection between Jimmy and the mayor? Who cares? There isn't one. Oh, wait a second. He's you could almost see the light bulb the go off over listen. Jack's head. So you think he was angry that Rita was a homewrecker? Or she was paying him to murder the mayor. Hey, I'm angry that a married man was fooling around with her. Well, before you go ripping somebody's head off, Boy. I'd check out their story. On my way over here, I saw Jimmy go into the pool hall. Why don't you go have a man-to-man -man with him? Is that an innuendo? Um, okay. Bye, Jack. All right, let's save real quick before the boss fight comes up. And I'm going to cut some parts out. Time to confront Jimmy. Whoa! I've been suspicious of you for some time, Jimmy Gardner. The liquor store robbery, the Lindbergh kidnapping, but now I'm convinced you murdered Rita Scanlon. Slim is solving more crimes than we are. We need to up our game. Listen good, Slim. I'm getting real sick of your crazy talk. Now shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Big words for someone with two frames of animation. You don't frighten me none, Jimmy Gardner. This here letter proves you're a killer. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. That does it, you loon. You stuck your nose where it doesn't belong, <laughs> and now animation. you're going to pay for it. <laughs> hey, stop Wait, on him, Jimmy. Stop that. Put that gun away. And how did he phase through Jimmy? Let's see if you're brave enough to take me on, man to man. <laughs> if only there was another man here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Slim is just standing there as still as possible while the weirdest shit happens in front of our eyes. It's okay, Mikey boy? What... what happened? I had a feeling you were spoiling for a fight with Jimmy and I thought you could use some help. Is that Jimmy's Looks hand like on the floor right. there? You can thank me later. I've got to run. Jack, I've seen the way you walk. You're incapable of running anywhere. What did Slim run off to?
Jimmy's knocked out cold. Jimmy's knocked out cold. Jack really did a number on him. So even though Slim went this way, he's actually back in his shack. I just wanted to see if he did go up front. Slim doesn't look well. <laughs> I would neither after what I just saw. What the hell is going on, Slim? It's the same question I have. Oh, come in, Mr. Dawson. Well, I'm already in Thanks here, Slim. Thanks for helping me out back there. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more. I guess I'm not much of a fighter. I'm not much of anything, I guess. What are you talking about, Mr. Dawson? Why you knocked Jimmy Gardner out cold? Oh, uh, yeah, let's go with that. I think you need glasses, Slim. I wasn't the one who saved you. Some people think my head's a little screwed up, but my eyes are fine. From what I could see, you were a real hero in there. Ah, something weird seems to be going on here. Why'd you run away when Jimmy pulled his gun? I thought your suit made you invulnerable. Oh, come on, Mike. Even you can't believe that. He my bought the thing off Amazon. My face, Mr. Dawson. Every power has its limits. Shut up, Slim. What was this evidence you said you have against Jimmy? It's a love letter written by Rita to Melissa's husband. It seems she was having a fling with our honorable mayor. Well, time to pay the mayor a visit. How did you get a hold of this letter? I wrote it on behalf of her. Oh, I snatched it out of Melissa's purse earlier today. I knew she was involved in some kind of conspiracy and I just needed a motive. Gosh darn if I didn't find one. Gosh darn if I create the perfect scenario here. It's called entrapment, Mr. Dawson. What led you to suspect Melissa? I've seen Melissa go into the pool hall regularly the past few weeks. Now, that isn't the proper place for a mayor's wife, is it? So I've been keeping my eye on her. Maybe she likes pool. You ever think of that, Slim? I noticed you collect a lot of things, but how could you stoop to picking a woman's purse? Mike, you broke into a man's car and stole his belongings. Well, Mr. Dawson, sometimes you have to bend the rules a little in the pursuit of justice. I am the town's sole protector, after all. Slim is the hero this town deserves. I don't understand what Jimmy has to do with all of this. The night before the high school reunion, I saw Melissa give Jimmy a big wad of money. That seemed mighty suspicious, especially after how Jimmy turned Mr. Ramirez into a crispy critter. So that actually corroborates what we saw in the second hypnosis dream. You know that Jimmy caused the Ramirez fire? Don't act so surprised, Mr. Dawson. Most people just think I'm a crazy fool, so they tend to talk a little carelessly when I'm around. I've heard it all. And then some. You ever seen a librarian open mouth kiss a horse? You know, Slim... There is a lot of evil in the world. Case in point, Dark Seed 2. You got that right, Mr. Dawson. That's why I prefer my own delusions. Thanks for helping to clear my name. Next time you have a conspiracy theory, I'm gonna listen. Nothing is cleared yet, Mikey boy. My pleasure. But I'm gonna give it a rest for now. My fillings are picking up radio transmissions from outer space again, and I'm starting to get a headache. I had a weird dream about an alien embryo getting implanted in my head last night. Weird, huh? Do you mind if I hand the letter and Jimmy's gun over to the sheriff, Slim? Go ahead. Sheriff Butler wouldn't pay it any attention if I gave them to him. He didn't even believe me the time I found Jimmy Hoffa's grave. Take them. They're yours. And now we have our trigger mechanism. Slim doesn't look well. How are you feeling, Slim? You don't look well. My head still hurts, Mr. Dawson. I'm not up for conversing, I'm afraid. I need to rest a spell. You're too much for me, Mr. Dawson. Every man has his limits. Slim, I have some more questions. Sorry, Mr. Dawson. 
I'm not feeling myself right now. Let me just rest a while. Okay, I get the hint, Slim. It looks like Jimmy took good care of his gun, but there aren't any bullets. Jimmy really likes to polish his gun from time to time. Nightly, even. Helps him sleep when, when he's finished. This letter Rita wrote to Mayor Fleming. I'm surprised Melissa didn't have her pervert husband killed, too. Wait. What? Jimmy's gone. Oh, I've no. i to find him before he kills more people for the generator. All right, let's get a reading on these new items. What role does this play in my future, Pandora? I don't want any trouble, young man. I see a blacksmith making a final blow on the anvil. What can you tell me about this? I see a woman who is much happier before you came into town. I see a hat rack with two of its four pegs occupied. So it's weird we get an item that correlates with three pegs occupied before two. But I guess you can get them in any order. Oh, Mrs. Ramirez! Nobody's answering the door. The bitch. Alright, let's head back to the dark world. I wish this would just stay unlocked. Matrix verified as privileged work. Wait, where's Reitz? Oh no! I didn't get here fast enough to keep Jimmy from killing the mayor. I've got to stop him before he kills another two people to complete the generator link. You ass, stay away from Rita. That's the ancient space. All right, can't interact with the head, so I'll give him a little pat and move on. All right, let's head to the entertainment district or whatever it's called. The power should be off now. Wait, Mike, no, don't walk over other people like that. Now that Mike has reached his destination, let's go look at things. Keep away, you insect. Okay, let's see what this thing has in store for us now. The creature that was inside this canister must have left to get his jolly somewhere else. Well, I needs my jollies had now, unzips his pants. It looks like Jimmy took good care of his gun, but there aren't any... Wait, what's going on? Where's the item? I can almost forgive Jimmy when I read this letter. <laughs> this is a wonderfully programmed game. This ego massager sure is heavy, but I think I'll be able to lug it around. I guess I should have let the animation finish the first time. Also, how does he identify Funny. this as an ego I massager? I spirits when I hold this device. Too bad it's so heavy. Okay, the back door here should be open now. Dark Seed 2 sound department strikes again. According to what the keeper of the scrolls told me, lives or is in prison? I thought he was technically locked up, but I guess he was just behind the door. Do those birds just laugh at me? Probably. You are Mike Dawson after all. This is the keeper's best spy? No wonder they lost to the ancients. Says the man who asks a literal crazy person for guidance. That's how I feel playing this game as well. Takes like my crossbow. breath away. What an archaic weapon to find in the dark world. 
There's a literal keeper of the sword. A sword. He's like, ah, oh, darn. Can't interact with the butt. Something vile is heating in the stove. I can't tell what it is, and I don't want to know. Hey, Mike, what do you think about Dark Seed 2? This is the most horrid collection of junk I've ever seen. Eh, sounds about right. I don't know anything about Dark World biology, but this creature looks deathly ill. I also don't know anything about culinary arts, but this food looks really gross. Are you goth? What a stupid name. I need to talk to you. Go away. <laughs> he set up with Michael Boy's peace. bullshit before the conversation even began. No, I need to talk to you. No, damn it, you'll get the same treatment as everyone else in the game. Wait. You're a human, aren't you? From the other side? Yes. The Keeper of the Scrolls sent me. I'm the Chosen One. I thought so. The Ancients haven't seized control of your side yet. Can you do something for me? I am dying. I'll pull the plug, no worries. What happened to you? <gasps> they made me play Dark Seed 2. That's my goth impression. At Tau Square. My exoskeleton is broken. So Goth there has an exoskeleton no like Slim to. has the voice Goth. The Goth-esque. healers are all dead. Killed by the ancients. What can I do for you? I am in great pain. Your presence is making it but worse. The are gone. The drugs are no longer being manufactured. I need something to sedate me. I saw people using drugs in the building outside. Did Mike literally just tell this guy he was going to no. buy drugs for him? The hell, man. Those drugs are used by the ancients to enslave the masses. I need medicine. I don't know where to find the medicine you need. Mike, you have a ton of pills you don't take. Get those. You have drugs in the normal world, don't you? Painkillers? That is the only thing that can help me now. Morphine, you're unbearable. I can bring you some drugs from the normal world. Jesus, Mike. Please, hurry. I do not know how much longer I can cling to consciousness. All right, let's leave. He's creeping me out. All right, let's try to take the crossbow. Don't touch that, human. You're liable to set it off, and who knows what will become magnetized. God forbid. Okay, let's go. All these jump cuts make Dark Sea 2 feel like more of a fever dream than it actually is, doesn't it, audience? Excuse me, Gargon. Oh, just let me finish my set first. I'm trying to go for Arnold now. I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Gargon? You can stop pretending. Damn it, Gargon. All right, let me see something real quick. I was curious to see if Pandora could get a reading on the Ego Massager since it does affect Gargan. Okay, Gargan, here's your MacGuffin. Hey, Gargan, I bet you can't lift this. Mike grabs his crotch. Oh, yeah? I can lift anything. <laughs> what in the world was that noise? Actually, forget the Ego Massager noise. What's wrong with Gargan? I'm sure that snapped you out of your depression, Gargon. How do you feel? I'm basing that on absolutely nothing, though. Why, I feel great! I don't know what you did, kid, but it sure beats those pills I've been taking. It's <laughs> quite a handy. I'm turning over a new leaf. No more feeling sorry for myself. No more rumors! Now will you lift the ice chest for me? The I most important the character cloud. of the game needs healing. I'm afraid I have some bad news about the clown. 
He died no. earlier today. Not our friend the clown. Something about not getting his medicine in time. Wait a minute. He was fine a second ago when I walked in, and also at both other times we stopped by the carnival. What's this what about the hell? More rumors? Well, I, I, uh, this is embarrassing. But I'm the rates of freak. I'm not really a strong man. About the carnival because I was so depressed. When you feel bad about yourself, it somehow helps. When everything else seems bad. You've been taking pills. That's worse than the rumors. Yeah. Antidepressants. Painkillers. But heck, I don't need them anymore. Why don't you take them? Give them to someone who's really in pain. Like the player. Alright, time to get this analyzed by our expert. What am I going to do with a bottle of painkillers? I don't even like taking the aspirin Dr. Sims prescribed for me. Shut up, Mike. What role does this play in my future, Pandora? I see a good time will be had tonight. Mm, I see an invalid helping another to his feet. Bitch just called Mike an invalid. You don't need to take that, Dawson. Let's leave. I guess no one's going to replace the clown at the ticket booth. This carnival doesn't seem to care much about making money. I'd say they're going to save money now. Okay, so the pills we got are good enough for Goth, so let's see him. Goth wheezes in excitement as Dawson approaches. The agony is beginning to subside. How do you feel? A lot better if you'd leave me be. I feel the pain no longer. But that does not change the fact that I will die soon. At least I will be able to enjoy the experience. I like Goth's animation is just a black square appearing and disappearing over his face. Now it's your turn to help me. I'm told you know all about the ancients. No one knows all there is to know about the ancients except the ancients. But I do know about their current plans. Hats! Funny hats! Why did the ancients conquer your world? Mike, stop slouching and stand up straight. They are life force scavengers. They travel from planet to planet, feeding off the life force from each world they visit. It sustains them while they sleep in their spaceship and ponder the universe. Oh, that sounds really dumb. They should have left it ambiguous. Why would the ancients be interested in my world? Because of you, you beautiful mustache masterpiece. They have nearly siphoned off the life force from this world as well as most of the other planets in my universe. They need new regions to harvest. Your world, for example. Wait, the Dark World is in a different universe? When did that happen? Just what are the Ancients' current plans? I already told you, they want to suck off the world's life they force. Why do you think they took Rita? called the Behemoth that is able to live on your side. You realize that we Dark World inhabitants are not capable of crossing the barrier. Why did the ancients create this behemoth? To break on through to the other side. This creature was designed to collect the life force of the human race and deliver it to the ancients. Once the behemoth passes through the barrier into your world, it will become invincible. <laughs> Actually sounds like a step up from current events. There is one Dark Worlder who can exist in the normal world. You speak of the shapeshifter. Yes, but he can exist on your side only for short periods of time. Maybe they have a quick Long conversation on one's porch, who knows? Human head for the ancient's power generator. Tell me about you and your undercover work for the Keepers. 
I have been part of the underground movement against the ancients for a long time. A very long time. But it appears that my labors are near an end. And I can't believe I had to spend the last few seconds with you. Tell me more about the underground movement. The Keepers organized us to revolt against the Ancients. But we underestimated the Ancients' power. Aren't the Ancients We're just sleeping? What could they possibly do? Slaughtered. If you couldn't stop the Ancients, then how can I? Good question, Dice. The points of the triangle are the only way. Gather the three points. The light, the scrolls, and the sword. The troopers seized the light. The scrolls are locked up in the Hall of Justice. These are some of the dumbest names I've ever heard. Where is the Sword of Justice? The shapeshifter has it. After the Keeper of the Sword was crucified, the ancients gave it to the shapeshifter as a reward for his services in the normal world. Where can I find the shapeshifter? Probably the one place you can't get into yet. No one knows where he lives. I'm sure he is well protected by the ancients. He is their most trusted agent, after all. What do I do with the points? Trade them in for prizes. The ancients' power generator. I've had a good look at it. You can overload it with the points' energy. Send their spaceship a power surge that not even the ancients can withstand. How do I use the points on the generator? Oh my god, will the dialogue never stop? With the light, illuminate that which is dark. With the scrolls, feed the truth into that which is false. And with the sword, sever that which should never have been joined. What he really means is shove two of those into the box near the phallic monolith and hope Very for the best. Helpful. I'll let you rest now. What a dick. Before you leave, take my crossbow. It emits a magnetic field. It may prove useful to you. Actually, that sounds like the most useless item ever, but okay. Can this crossbow be used to magnetize metal? I don't think you understand how physics work, Mike boy. I suppose so. We used it to disrupt communications. There is very little metal in the dark world. Except for the walkways. Why do you ask? I need to win a game in my world. This crossbow might help. Priorities, Mike. Priorities. Games, he says. Were the keepers wrong about this one? Oh, let me rest, human. You are not worth my remaining energy. Thank you. Well, I'm back to take your remaining energy. Goth, I think you misunderstood how I plan to use the crossbow. Let me die in peace, human. Either blow up the ancient spaceship or play your games. I don't care anymore. Now go. That's kind of how I feel about Darkseed 2 at the moment. Goth. Okay, let's leave. Use it wisely, human. The power is low, and I don't know how many shots are left. I thought you didn't care. Let's give this man a trigger and get our biomechanical appendage. How is business these days? Weapon sales are high, but long maintenance Weapons sales are low. Weapons are disturbingly high, but part shipments are disturbingly slow. You haven't come across a trigger mechanism. As a matter of fact, I do have a gun. Mike flexes. Oh, really? Where is it? Is the trigger mechanism of this gun of Mike has a way of making everything he says sound pitiful. Let me check out my own rifle first. Let me see that. Wow. 
well? Is it something you can use? Calm down, Mike. Why, yes. This will do quite nicely. It's a trade, then. Here, let me attach your biomechanical arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I hope this becomes an action platformer like Contra now. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this biomechanical arm. It's cool. It's Nito Torpedo. One warning, Organic One. This weapon is intelligent. It will only shoot at non sentience. After all, I don't know who you are. And I don't want to know. I followed off the serial number so it can't be traced back to me. What's new? Pussycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing. I'm one of the enslaved masses, remember? Eh, it's a living. Well, this is all very interesting, but... Whatever. Wait, no. that dialogue didn't match the text on screen. Eh, whatever, let's leave. Gunsmith built this biomechanical machine gun so I can quickly attach it to my arm whenever I need it. So how is this different from a normal gun? Oh, it's biomechanical. I think I'll end this video here. As always, thank you for watching and make sure to tune in for part 7 of my Dark Sea 2 Let's Play.